Hello, everyone. Welcome to Geekenstein's in the Lab. I'm David Reinhardt. I'm joined here by Alex Santa Maria, and we're here to play Detective Grimoire. Picking up the mouse mm -hmm. on my end here. Armor Games, C Games, Seb Games, SFB. Okay. AKA Super Flash Bros. I can't reach the screen to tap it. Just click it, jackass. I know. I'm sorry. I have no idea what's going on with this game. Going in blind. This sound. This sound is very important. I already, I already did, I thought. No, I can just hear it out of my headset. No. 2025, last night, a murder occurred in a remote part of this Turn this swamp. down momentarily. A small murder. tourist attraction, deep within the heart of the Martian. Hold on. A tourist attraction? Here? I don't get it. Why would anyone come here by choice? I've explained this already. This area is famous. Famous? All I read was that some idiot thought they saw an alien here a hundred years ago. Get your facts straight for once. We're talking about a creature that's lived in the swamp for over 60 years. Okay, so it's a 60-year-old alien. I still don't see what matters. If it matters to anyone, it's you. That creature is our prime suspect. The murder suspect? That's right. This is no Loch Ness Monster. You need to be taking this seriously. No, look, come on. How am I supposed to arrest something that might not exist? We've always enjoyed a challenge before. You can start by reading this. Our case file? <laughs> There's not a lot of it, is there? As usual, we only but know we'll the We'll get into the video proper. I'm point. just worried you can't hear us at all at the moment because it's so fucking loud. Here we go. Okay. Boogies! First, step one. No! Volume mixer. Oh, you. It's fine in my headset. Look, you can barely even hear it. Your headset's like super sensitive or something. I don't know. Turn half. A little more. Okay. I can hear myself think now. Okay. Richard Remington, founder of tourist attraction Boggy's Bog. That's a great name. Click on the game. Was found dead outside his office at 8.45 last night. Keep going. Foggy's Bog. The legendary swamp creature. Look at the case file, man. I'm looking, man. Holy shit, no. it's Dan okay. McNeely. What does that mean? Who's Dan McNeely? Dan McNeely? Yeah. What do you mean? That's what it says in our <laughs> chat. I don't know. What are you talking about? I don't know. Is that that one guy that's been talking, or is there another one now? Our murder victim, Richard Remington, he was in charge of this, uh, tourist attraction. Boggy's Bog? <laughs> what a name. Boggy is the name of our creature. Well, nowadays it is. You mean that stupid cartoon character? I I've heard of him. Okay, hold on. I need to fuck with the sound real quick. Murder suspect? <laughs> There's more to Boggy than the cartoon character, I promise you. This is the place it all began. You'll find out soon enough. Oh, this looks really good. Yeah, this game is incredibly well animated. Yeah! For a game that had tap to start. Definitely. Dan McNeely is this amateur voice actor who you can look at your clues and suspect profiles in here. Grimoire. Okay, I thought I heard him before. <laughs> when you've collected some, of course. Aww. I'll stay and guard our boat. So come back here, and I'll hit. 
Okay. Oh man, so many buttons. Those are like unlockables, I imagine. Are we in first person? Yeah. A simple wooden dock. Looks like it can just about hold my weight. A lot of fog and a lot of trees. The voice acting in this game is actually really well done, too. It's just... Ah, Detective so Grimoire, I guess Dan McNeely, clearly... It, it seems like English is clearly not his first language or something, because he just pronounces things. He just pronounces some words weird. Like, he's yeah. a good... Like, he, he inflects and, and emotes properly. It just sounds strange. Mm -hmm. Your mustache is troubling me. That thing seems to be longer every time I see you. <laughs> You've been warned about this, Detective. <laughs> Don't talk about my facial hair, and I won't talk about yours. What's wrong with mine? Yeah, it's perfectly under control. It's trimmed and ready for action. Grimoire, you're supposed to be investigating a murder. Stop wasting time. <laughs> Story of my life. No, oh, it's real name's not Dan McNeely. I can switch to walk mode with the button in the bottom right. Oh, and if I'm feeling confident, I can turn off those sparkly hit icons in the options menu. His notable roles include the teacher in Zinn and the villain Dan McNeely in the Trapped series. Or Shin, sorry, it's pronounced Shin. Wow, you didn't get lost yet. No, I, well, I only just got here. Who are you? You don't remember. <laughs> of course, A young Jesse from Pokemon, in an I early role. Offended, this is actually a sequel to a Flash game. Ah, oh, of course. Well, I'm gonna... I've never seen you before. I've never Sorry, seen you before. Goes through here already. This game has actually got some really cool, like, <laughs> interview, like, like investigation. Well, kind of like L.A. Noir, but me, better. I'd better go after it. You can wait here and be You know what I mean? I yeah. I'll never forgive myself You'll see. if I let you go through without the map. You have a map of the swamp? Not anymore. I'm giving it to you. You should really stay here. It's dangerous. There's been a murder. Though I figure if anyone was going to play this game, since I already have a little bit to check it out, it should be you. Yeah. The creature. Just like we did with Detective Case. He doesn't seem like a killing sort of creature. Nope. He's a different How come all the adventure games have to do with detectives? Wait, what do you mean? Is that did just you... an easy way to... Hmm. She well, fit them all. as playing an adventure game, you're sort of... You're usually investigating a mystery. Yeah. You don't have to be, though. Oh, he was Igor in the Persona 4 fan comics. The I Persona 4 comic dub, which is fucking hysterical. Mm -hmm. Um. As an opportunity for a photographic memento. I don't know. I mean, the two characters are an explorer and Boggy himself. Gabriel Knight, which I had to record without you, because... The fence that seems to surround this entire area. Uh, I mean, he's a writer investigating stuff. Uh, just an old like, It's just an easy... Loop, yeah. You know? I don't know. You know, for a game that literally evolved out of a, an armor flash game, which if you know flash games, don't it's a big flash game site. Don't forget to use walk this is and it clearly it. designed for a cell phone. Yeah. It's got really good production value. Oh yeah, no. The like, I'm not against phone games that are just designed for a cell phone. Being it's on just... PC? No, perfect. Like, you know right. what? I don't want to play it on my phone, stick it on my PC. It looks like I can move these it's just usually out. that also comes with the territory is really low production quality. No, and this like this music right. is really good. Yeah, the I voice acting is top notch. One of them out of the bottom. The of animation the when it is animated looks way better than most point click adventure games we play. Right, and considering how ephemeral mobile gaming platforms really are, you know how easy it is for a game of the publisher to be like, well, nope, we're done. Yeah. Get that off the store. It's good to have games like this on PC that are actually worth it. It's like especially. I know, I know. I'm, uh, no, I'm able to get through this gate. Thinking. Probably. Yes. Puzzles. One of the uh, the really cool things is like this is cle uh. clearly made by. Well, I mean, it's it's Armor Games and the Super Flash Bros. Clearly made by a Flash, a, a game designer familiar with Flash, and that just makes me think it's like okay, we've got these guys who I I like this game, and uh, and then we have the fucking Behemoth too, which started as. Oh, now it's over here? No, you gotta get it off. I know. Oh, there we go. Dude! I moved it, well, I moved it. You yeah. had, you could see the mouse on the screen. Yeah, there. You're moving it so far, you gotta just pull it all off. No, the other way out! 
up and up and out. It was started there, though. Oh, wait. Like, oh. Take the entire chain off the door. Yeah. Hey, nice. I might get one of these from my office. I got it. It's Although a, I, I made. Attraction? If you were looking, the first move I did took the chain off. Yeah. It should open it. So oh, I wasn't he, wrong. He was also in. He was fused in dust and Elysian Tale, which just, I never played. Does it make sense to yeah, that's the. Uh, yeah, no, I know what it is. I got yeah. really excited for it when it was first announced, like, like five years ago. Drag with the trailer. It's like the first. It was the first. It was the first um, and flick through the connecting Xbox to make a Live Arcade in the game but we'll trailer try it back out. when it had a different I game that I had ever seen. And it looked conclusion. amazing. Boggy's bog. Seems oh like man. This seems like really dumb. Is too stupid but for, yeah, for the murder uh, to have happened. Our chat. No, what it's is not that a. That's supposed to be. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is really great. Is um, it's not a flash game. It just came from a flash series. So yeah, I don't know if the the the, the old one had voice acting though. I I played it for like 30 seconds and then I was like. This doesn't look nearly as awesome as this like super cartoon because it was drawn more realistically in the original Flash game, and I really like this art style. My beard is it warm enough for Officer James to make any money? What is that supposed to be? <laughs> you know exactly what that means, Detective. Oh man, that's great. There we go. The swamp is far too remote for the tourist attraction to make any money. Hmm. It's really bugging me. What's the story behind this place? Come on, you see Scooby-Doo. Apparently, there's a museum to the left and a cafe to the right. I'm not hungry, though. This place is putting me off food. There's a hollow part of the tree. I'll uh, write it a f Note to self, don't fall in. Man, I should pick one of these up that we keep playing and actually play through it to completion. I know, I still never finished Detective Case, and that makes me really sad. I should visit the crime scene before I do anything else. I think Officer James said it was to the west. A rather prominent tree stump looming over the wooden pathway. It's hard to ignore. It looks like this path leads towards the northwest corner of Bongi's Bog. I can't wait. It looks like this path leads. I. Oh. Okay. There's a narrow path here leading up that hill and through the trees. It doesn't look inviting. I'm not sure it's part of the tourist attraction. Rocks sitting in the water like this just stepping stones. think of Florida. That was a natural so, so tourist a attraction in the swamp. One. Yep, a tourist attraction that maybe hasn't been kept up in a few decades or so. So we're basically just talking about Gatorland. Yeah. Oh, I've been to a few others around the state. Oh yeah, me too. But, but Gator, yeah. Gatorland's the big one because they run commercials uh, and it still key. looks like a piece of shit. And I don't feel like kicking the door. Man, you ever, I went to Splendid China in Orlando before they closed that place down. Oh yeah, I know about that place. That place was. There's. A, did you ever go to the me. Serpentarium in Osceola County? No. It was like it's think of Gatorland, but like the size of like two decent sized classroom Maybe portables. Maybe I get desperate later on. Together and same type of like concrete, but just snakes and shit. Like real, not real big. Lots of snakes and shit. It's still open too. Mm. There are bizarre footprints with three toes leading up to the office door. And back down into those reeds by the water. There are biz and yes. there's an open window above Remington's body. One of the curtains is ripped and hanging on the outside. Ah, I, I look through the usually when we get, Maybe if I get press this. code for games or whatever, I look so, through the forums just to see what people are talking Mike's about. Spot. And all almost all the comments for this game were this game's really fun, I really like it. 
and it seems like it would be a good game for kids, except for the fact that it's a murder investigation. Oh, I mean, whatever. Kids can figure that See, out. See, I think that too. Like, what was I watching? Something that I... I mean, they... Like with the shit ton of death in it. Well, I mean, I've just been I've been watching a lot of Doctor Who lately too. Well, I mean, yeah. I watch a ton of Doctor uh, Who just I all the time. But maybe there's a shit ton of murder in that. And think it's about great. like it's Sam and Max too. Like they're talking about like uh, weird stuff at Sam and Max all the time. That's a kids' game. They go to hell. Yeah, exactly. God, those games. Man, I w I'm super happy that Telltale has gotten really popular and they've expanded like their output and are putting out some really quality games right now. But I really want them to go back to Monkey Island and Santa ah, Max. Some suspects. Let's get this investigation started. Uh huh. All right. Let's see. What like suspect. Just this it? late animation in the dialect. Like, no, who, uh, no one does I'm that. Sorry, no one does yeah. that. Yeah. I say that bit out loud. Maybe not. Maybe I can hear your thoughts. Oh, that's so would camera. you be able to answer my questions before I you? I thought it was a boombox. Would you be able to question my answers before I tell you? I could try. <laughs> I'm Bobby Burl, professional cameraman. Dude, pleased to meet you. Look at that chest I'm hair. Grimoire. I'm here to investigate last night's murder. Uh, obviously. Did you, did you notice it? Look ah, at that. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> that looks like a phoenix, man. <laughs> Here's a comment. It's actually my 25th. My 10-year-old sister watches Law & Order SVU like all the time. Which, if you want... If you want, um... Something I, I've been watching a so lot of shit on Hulu lately, do, but just because I, I watch um, Daily Show and Colbert Report. Here. Yeah, I go like, where I'm every night after day. Wanted on to there. come to the swamp, but uh, my girlfriend and I have been watching the Don Gon Ronpa anime because I really love the story and I want her to experience it. And she's not going to play a fucking like twenty-five hour beat a game. Is he your boss? But oh, I don't know the about trivia, that. We like sometimes together. you'll get the, the, the Toyota trivia, to yeah, yeah. Honda or whatever, I never got permission and one of the questions on there is what oh, show, really? or what Law & Order Why Special Victims Unit was originally place? called the if what, the answer is just sex crime. It was I'm originally sure called sex crimes. That's crime. That's all it is. You always carry that camera with you? Most of the time. You were here yesterday, I presume? Last night? Yes, I was. Also, I feel uh, like children should know clearing? that police investigate No, I was over at the cafe getting it something and to, eat. to justice. Richard Remington was there too. Yeah, Remington. That's a good value to instill you saw him in our children. Night? Uh, Not just before the murder? That's right, I saw him. That's right, I saw him. We left the cafe looking like Well, I mean, it depends on whether you're a detective or a cop. He just wanted to go back to his office. Or if he suspects his white or black. Right, that too. Perhaps it was something he ate. Roll it dark today out the in the lab. We are playing a game about murder. Uh. And what other darkness have we talked about? See, right, this is the kind of stuff that most phone games don't have, like the touch, the little touches, you know? Where when you poke it, not only does it say no, but the chains jiggle like you're trying right. to pull on them. Yeah, exactly. no, like, I really liked what I played in this game. I just, I, I literally had to stop myself at some point because I'm like, we're going to record it in the lab of this, and I don't want to know the whole game. I'm sad. My beard isn't an option. <laughs> you should ask someone else. Go talk to someone else. You don't have anymore to talk to Bobby Fine. about right now. Fine. I'm exploring my options. I have so many. Yes. Do you have a message for me? Uh, no. I, I don't think so. Then why are you here? I'm incredibly busy. You don't look it. Who are you anyway? What a question. You're serious? I am Vincent van der Peer. The famous movie director? The artist, the visionary, the auteur. I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you're gonna pick every beard a option. Kind of beard you've got, at least. You're in my light. Could you take a few steps back, please? But then I I'll like be too far away to talk I to like you. thieves in my I junkie know. comments. Can anyone just walk in here and start filming? This reminds me a lot of World of Goo. A ghost. Okay, I've seen this on. Stand. That's haunt the ten town terror or haunt haunt the house terror town. Is yes. that same developers? I have a copy of it. We're just not covering it today. Oh, okay. But no, we are gonna cover that. Yeah. So that's okay. Yeah, I have that game. And I played a little bit of it too. And holy shit, Super Flash Bros makes some awesome modern games too. <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> it's uh, fun. I'm 
high eyebrow. No, I'm not listening. I'm not telling you. I just buy eyebrows. <laughs> to murder the victim. <laughs> Vincent Gandapier only recently got permission from Richard Remington to murder the victim. Hmm. Maybe I just need to change one thing. Can one Wonder very just important do whatever he thing. Wants? Yeah. <laughs> Vincent Vandapier only recently got permission from I'm my really glad I had you play this. to murder the victim. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I was gonna say, this take is it great. Goes, this is it's... really great. Vincent van der Peer only recently got permission from Richard Remington to film here in the swamp. I wonder if Mr. van der Peer has been breaking rules. Or maybe he'll have an excuse. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. So I guess I should probably... I feel like I would should What's talk to him first. What's a famous guy like you doing Because you don't want to, like, he, like, if you, like, in front of him, then he'll just Clyde. leave or something. I'm sure you're thinking, why doesn't he send an assistant? Of you. But that's not the way this director works. But I don't know, why, why does this ride the most of I'm you? feeling, I'm experiencing, I'm discovering. This area, the history, the atmosphere, it's the perfect setting for my next film. I'm on a scouting mission to get to know this swamp before I begin work on the latest masterpiece in a string of masterpieces. You're making a movie about Boggy? About the swamp creature? Of course. He's a fascinating individual, isn't he? So mysterious. No idea. I haven't met him yet. Uh, is that your cameraman over there? Yes, that's right. Bobby Burl, my faithful right-hand man. Well, faithful enough, you know. No, I don't know. He's an expert cameraman. Really knows his trade, of course. But he gets a bit muddled when it comes to priorities. Uh, like how? You mean he's lazy? He doesn't look lazy. He looks a bit scary. Oh no, nothing of the sort. He just has a little hobby that sometimes distracts him from his work. But I wouldn't want anyone else shooting for me. A lot of it has to do with it's basically a phone game art style. No! This is much better. Than World of Goose art style? No, no, no. Than phone game art style. Okay, I was going to say, because both like, this and... I, you know what? If you want to say both this and World of Goo have an art style that works really well on a phone, but is also really good, I would give you that. Yeah. And how there's so, this dark current mm, underneath this childish tone. To oh, the or style. Yeah, no, yeah. totally. This is like... Okay, it's murder. It's, I wouldn't call it a dark current yes. underneath the childish in, style, because it is just so straight up kind of murder. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I'm able cool to find my faithful But it is super cartoony. He had hidden himself yeah. quite completely from you. Bobby Burrow, right? Did you need him to film for you? Always. But, being a but that's only from type American cartoons. If this had anime styles, no one would be complaining. <laughs> I was filming it could be like Don Gunrapa and have bright neon pink <laughs> blood, too, for Last some strange night? reason. Here? Yes, at the time of the murder, I believe. But wait, I know what you're thinking. Now don't forget, I'm not here to shoot some experimental documentary. I have no interest in late-night surveillance footage. Did you see anything at all? Or what is it you were filming? The water. I was filming the water. It's a fascinating subject, one that has me captivated to the point where so, I... So, you didn't see anything useful? I sat there for a minute. Nothing useful to you, my good detective. But there are some odd sounds on the audio track. Nothing but wild animals going about their <sighs> nighttime rituals, I'm sure. Now it's reminding me of Ghost Hunters. the cameraman. Yeah, no, this, this game is like, really, like, it's got such a great style to it. Oh, wow, this is a really cool interview about Don Gonoranpa. Vincent Van de Peer lied to me because Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found flat. last night. Hmm. Maybe I just... What do you Which mean? I wish more animation would adopt. Oh, I think he just means that it's very 2D in art style. Yeah. No, I'm talking to the game. Vincent oh. Van de Peer lied I thought I had to me it. because Burl's camera was nowhere to be found last night. I don't get it. Seriously. Maybe Bobby Burrow needs to do a little bit. No, I agree.
Let me try that again. Vincent Van de Peer? No, not to me useless. Because Bobby Burl was so useless. Yo, no, that doesn't make... This is the one... I've been Vincent following it along. Learned to me because Bobby Burl was no Wait, he said no, he said it was night. there. Hmm. And then they said they were filming. Try the it not lied to me. Oh. Doesn't explain why, maybe. Oh, okay. Vincent Van de Peer doesn't explain why Bobby Burl was nowhere to be found last night. Ooh, that's nearly right. Van de Peer told me something about his cameraman. We talked about the visual design and, and how that offsets Vincent the story, Van but it's so bright and flat Bobby Burl and pop art was and blood is fluorescent pink. Simple enough. Why did you what go in that Mr. direction? Burl doing Our first reason was to lower the rating as much as we could. That's why we went with the shocking pink blood instead of red, but it was also to lessen the grotesque feel of the game. The first time and that's why we went with the pop art Where? feel. In the, in the Actually, swamp? going with what pink instead of about? red blood gave it more impact than ever before. Remington has denied you Which is super weird, because in that game, oh, that. there's a the lot of swearing, but I guess that's in anime like in general, they swear every more in situation such a deal. Yeah, requires the right that's Japanese approach. culture. Yeah, they say, well, just every culture but ours, you basically. Understand that, yeah. yeah. Why did Remington not want you filming here? And why the did he change his mind? I mean. Oh, yeah, very flat colors. This area is protected, you know. There are certain rules. There's only three animations in similar style, which I, I think they dropped. this kind of thing film. all the time, really. That doesn't explain why it changes, too. It's a little suspicious. Why would you say that? A famous movie director suddenly gets his way. I wonder how that happened. Bribery. Murder. Try to use my trusty dusty notebook. <laughs> <laughs> that can't be it. Right. You know, whoever That's did the one. this was clearly this conversational dialogue. Remington to get the filming rights. Yeah, this is, is uh, clearly recorded. Like, separate. It wasn't it was just recorded in the studio together, but they did friends. have very good visual Nothing direction and design to blend it so seamlessly. I simply yeah. promised him a cut of my next movie's profits. It made sense since he owned the area anyway. And, and this just the, the production values in this game are shockingly high. So you would have owed. And it's money. only. Let me double check. I think only it's like a small six or seven dollars. Simply out of courtesy, and not for a long time either. Seven dollars, six ninety-nine. That's really good. Mm -hmm. You should definitely buy this when you get home. I should no. So you don't have six dollars in your account anymore? I might by the time I put up my new cards. I heard from Mr. Vandepure over there that you were nowhere to be found last night. Hmm. Didn't I say I was at the cafe? Yeah, you did. But your director needed you for some filming and he couldn't find you. What were you doing that was so important? Well, let's see. After I ate, I had to walk around the swamp. I didn't have my camera, so I was free to stretch my legs for once. Where was your camera? Don't you carry it around with you all the time? No, not all the time. You left it with Vanderpeer, and he used it instead that night. That's right, he was looking after that camera. So I went for a late night stroll. This place is beautiful in the evenings. You just walked around? You didn't do anything? Didn't see anyone? Well, I can't say that. I have various ways to pass the time, you know. <laughs> I wonder... Uh, Van de Pierre said you had a hobby on the challenge. Side. I don't wanna... Is that what he said? <laughs> Stray. Yeah, I don't wanna right. mess it up and have to go I through it again. I two cameras with me when I came here. I left my video camera, yes. But I have another one. It's much smaller. And it only takes black and white photographs. You know the kind I mean? A really old one? <laughs> yes, I suppose so. I've always enjoyed traditional photography, and this place is a wonderful opportunity to take some pictures of a natural environment. So, 
you were having some time off to take black and white photographs? For fun. Only one photograph. You have to be disciplined when you're not using a digital camera. Can I see it? Of course. I took it near the woods at the back of the swamp. It's quite an interesting shot, but the light qualities weren't perfect. Here we are. Uh, feel free to take a look. Wait, what? This is a photo? <laughs> mm -hmm. I haven't developed it yet. I only took it last night. Just brush the developing fluid over the photo to reveal the image. That could be a what? little better. Is that, is that boggy? The, the swamp creature just standing in the water? It could be. Personally, I'm not convinced, but <laughs> I'll let you decide for yourself. Booyah. Huh. This is really cool. You sound so just like... No, I'm, this is cool, man. I'm into it. Try showing talking to, to somebody different. Yes, I think so. A prolific cameraman with exceptional skills at carrying heavy equipment. <laughs> I did that once too, and it was great. Why does it say Grimoire, though? A prolific cameraman Look at that. with exceptional oh, skills Bugs. at carrying heavy equipment. Maybe. Bugs. Okay. Rock sitting in the. If that was a natural. Click the move button. I don't think it's a window, but this hatch is shut at the moment. I can't see inside. This side of the museum is surrounded by blue and red flowers. That museum is quite a nice building, which makes it look even more out of place in a swamp. Is it being held up in wooden supports? It's bizarre. Doors jammed unless I can get these brass handles out of the way. Seems like I can rotate them. Also, why is Grimoire wearing heavy trench coat in Muggy Swamp? Because it's a cartoon and that's his outfit. And you Cause know. that's how detectives work. That top hat guy would have so struggled with this one. I like that. It's super dumb, but I like the weird random Professor Layton call out. Let's see here. This journal belonged to the explorer. The first discovered Boggy in this swamp sick. Hmm. Look at this animation, man. <laughs> like, I know. This journal. Huh. It's full of drawings and this notes. This is Gabriel all Light all over again. It's another point-click adventure game. It seems to be the centerpiece of the entire museum. Models of Boggy's claws. Something doesn't seem I want right. more developers I to put real effort and love into their animation. Something seems out of place. Or even in their phone games, man. Yeah, that too. Oh. supposed to do that? No, it... Clearly the ones that look like puppet hands are not supposed to be there. Oh, whatever. Puppet hands. I don't think these gloves are part of the exhibit. It looks like someone tried to hide them here. <laughs> they look like, they look like the other one. They all look the same. You crazy. No, they look like puppet hands. Yeah. I mean, they, now you zoom in on them. <laughs> God. God, Boggy Some looks high as fuck. About swamps. Did you know swamps are gross? Yes. Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, mm. that is true. Let me guess, you don't work here, do you? I wonder if that makes you the first tourist I've seen today. You're incorrect, detective. I am no mere tourist. How did you know I was a detective? Was it my stylish trench coat? My sensitive, inquisitive manner? 
It was the clueless expression on your face. What are you talking about? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> right. That's it. <laughs> You've done it now. What's your name? I go by Folder. Agent Folder. What are you doing? Oh, these are great! It's about you in my notebook. <laughs> oh. So, if you're not a tourist, and you don't work here... I am a scholar, an academic. I'm here to research the past and uncover the future. So, you're visiting the museum for fun. Fun! <laughs> Oh, there's nothing so simple as fun to be had here. I come to this museum night and day to study its secrets. Ah, what kind of secrets? It's just a museum about Boggy, right? The Swamp Creature. He's one of the most intriguing modern examples of cryptozoology. A fascinating combination of scientific fact and wild speculation. I had with an you amazing on the speculation the front. other day. No, no, come to <laughs> I think was thinking of it. about it because I started getting on the have been hinting that I should find out about the history of this creature. It was a schnitzel oh, sandwich. And so, you've come awesome. to the right person. Uh -huh. with My knowledge far exceeds anyone else you have admit so far. So, and you'll help me? And three I suppose I could divulge some of that my findings with you. That seems crazy. It was so good. A light reading. Let me find it for you. Yeah. Thunderbox oh, yeah, is amazing, do. man. Something for Thunderbox? Uh, Thunderbox, the German restaurant on Bruce B. Downs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard of that. You should go there. It's awesome. So, Mr. Folder. Agent Folder. Yeah. Uh, were you here yesterday? What were you doing last night? I was here, in the museum, going through my files one final time before disappearing into the night. Don't museums usually close in the evenings? They do. I've never been one to worry about other people's schedules. I come and go as I please. There's a key <laughs> to every lock, detective. Oh, so you have the key to the museum? I like, how, I I like that the music that? faded out well, for dramatic effect. Once again, a clueless expression. I use a lockpick and get in through the small side door. I have a right to be here, you see. Remington has no business locking me out, so I don't let him. You just admitted to breaking the law. And I like his full, I like his filing cabinet user. pocket. It's not my best lockpick. This new one's cheap. I used to own one, a superior model. Unfortunately, I misplaced it in one of the darker corners of the swamp, so I don't... I'm writing down your confession about sneaking around here at night. Then what are you gonna do? Report me to Remington? Good luck, my friend. You ain't got shit to show him, dude. Yeah, this file goes over some basic differences oh. between the genuine creature and the cartoon character. It's nothing more than a basic overview, really. All fine. There's a little door in the wall here. I th Apparently, this is the exact hat worn by the explorers 60 years ago. Uh, it seems everyone is destined to lose a hat or two in this damn swamp. I don't know how much farther you want to go. look at the light coming in on the, and, and highlighting the dust. Yeah. Like, just that level of detail, man. I wonder how it looks on phones. This staircase Probably is a really tree. Good. And this tree is a staircase. Oh, and this look, place oh, is so weird. <laughs> Dude, we'll meet Jack Black up here. <laughs> Why? That one part of Broken Age is the one part I remember. Jack Someone Black. please yeah. tell me why there's a house here. Well, <laughs> the lights are on. Maybe somebody's home. The latch is broken on this door. Seems I can fix it with those three cogs if I just put them in the right... Once they're on the right, I can move the handle at the bottom to try... Buggy also looks incredibly depressed. Eh, maybe a little. This game is four dollars on the iOS store and looks really good. Perfect. I am amazing. comes straight through the middle of the house. It even has little drawers carved into it. Okay, even I'll admit, that's pretty cool. 
You just walked straight into my house, did you? <laughs> I'm a detective. I'm paid to walk into people's houses. Normally, I have methods for dealing with unwanted attention. But I can make exceptions for harmless idiots. Do you get any attention up here? Most of the time, people like to leave me alone. But I don't think you're going to, are you? Uh, no. Um, I could make an excuse and say it's my job to ask you about last night, but to be honest, I climbed all the way up here and I just like being indoors. Well, if you insist on staying, I'll tell you. I'm Lady Weybridge, and I think you might be climbing up the wrong trees. I'm Detective Bum -bum -bum. Bumar, and I think I'm. All Buggy does is smoke swamp weed and eat swamp Cheetos. His mom is really upset with his what life choices, here? but all Buggy can Richard do Benning? is smoke. I was living here before that man was even born, and I have absolutely nothing to do with it. Or his little tourist attraction. You're exaggerating. How long have you been here? Just in this tree So house? I'm glad we at least started what this conversation before we uh, I've been ended here this longer in the than lab. Anyone. Because I, I think than... this conversation really well, shows the cl some of the clever writing or highlights it. I, and I like how much numbers. I like Detective Grimoire. Like, Something like that. And what have you been doing for that time? He's not if a fumbling idiot, and he's not like I a super amazing cop. I, like he's so he walks the line but of like he, he seems all the like a full-fledged character, you know. I'm sure yeah, there's one detail sure. worth writing down. I just I like, like that. I like being the plants and flowers in this area. I've learned many things from them. Now, what about this little chemistry set you've got on your table? I wouldn't call it a chemistry set, but if you bring me an object that has liquid on it or inside it. I'll tell you what that liquid consists of. Wow. How do you do that? Chemistry. Yeah. So you ready to end this? Yeah, we don't want to give it all away. No, and you no, should definitely, really like, this game is, is so yeah. reasonably priced, you should just pick it up. And I have to play through it again. Make, give them, give them money so they will make more. Yes. So yeah, so this is Detective Grimoire. Six ninety nine on Steam, three ninety nine on iOS. I don't right. know. My Android phone is not here, so... So, either this or one day for Chen, for all our viewers. There's not a decision there. <laughs> it's this. Fuck you. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>